Australians to see Kel win. Mm, no doubt about it. Kel, uh, when championships are won, quite often there's one or two shots which are recalled with great fondness. Uh, watching the US Open coverage just a couple of weeks ago, they recalled Nicholas's one iron into 17 in 72 when he won the US Open and hit the flagstick there at Pebble. Ten years later, we saw Watson's chip in to win the same championship. We know Tiger chipped in at Augusta in 06. On 16, that famous chip in which Fern Lindquist has described as in your life. Have you seen anything like it? You've had two significant moments in your final 18 holes, 17 and 18. Can you take us through those moments? Yeah, well, I was, uh, I'd, I'd passed Arnold on the loop and he looked across and I, I birdied a short hole. And uh, I was pretty comfortable with about four holes to go. I had four shots in front. And uh, I, I, Arnold birdied the 15th and I three putted because I'm playing, I'm playing behind Arnold. And uh, I watched him get four to 16th and I got four. And the 17th, Arnold put his second shot on the road, on the right of the green, and he made four off the road. And I, I put my second, second shot on the on the uh, top of the green, but I was about 40, 50 foot short of the hole. And I uh, patted down about eight feet short. Um, by this time, the last hole at, the, at St Andrews, you can, they, most of the boys, they, they'll drive it this time because of the distance. Um, Arnold uh, had about a 12 footer and I had got this eight footer and I thought, well, I better wait and watch and see what happens, you know. So as a big roar went up, I knew he held it, see. So I had to, I really had to make this eight footer and uh, it never looked like missing. Centre cup, wasn't it? And uh, <laughs> Donny Lawrence from the age, he raced up to me on the, on the 18th tee and he said, you know what you've got to do? And I said, yeah, I know what I've got to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go and do it. Because <laughs> I've been watching him all the time, see. <laughs> so I drove it up the, up the middle and uh, I wedged it to about three and a half foot from the hole, and, uh, which was uh, probably a fluke. <laughs> <But> <laughs> the valley of sin, see, it's, they call it that because it's a sin to be sure. So... Uh, but I pitched it and it just it landed perfect and I was about three and a half foot, so I only had to get down and two to, to win. And I w probably wasn't concentrating properly and I, I, uh, I, I lipped it out and it went about a foot past and I just walked around and went bang, knocked it in. <laughs> and I could hear... I could hear Henry Longhurst saying, oh, be careful, be careful. <laughs> 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 but uh, so that was it. And Pete, my friend, he was, he, was, he was first on the green to congratulate me because, and, and then I, I couldn't get across the Forgans to get my jacket, take the trophy. So he loaned me his jacket and you see on there, that was Peter Thompson's jacket. I'd like you to take us back to the 18th green where you have two putts from three and a half feet to win a major championship. What goes through your mind at that moment when, A, you take the two putts necessary to win the championship and knowing that from then, your life's changed forever? Well, I didn't, 
I really didn't think of missing it. <laughs> but I did. <laughs> well, the first one, but you made the one coming back. <laughs> but, uh, so that ball goes in the cup and you are now well, the Open Championship. You know, I, I was in the zone. Didn't see anything outside. The, uh, the gallery were there. I knew they were there, but I was concentrating on that particular. How about a wonderful round of applause, Kel Nagel, David Mercer. Thank you.